Fidelity is an investment firm that was founded in 1946 and has since then become one of the world's largest investment firms with over $10 trillion in assets under management. Although this video is going to cover a complete review to Fidelity's platform, I have also created other videos related to Fidelity that I believe could really help you out, which I will leave a link in the description below to my entire Fidelity playlist for you to watch after this video. And before we get started, all I ask from you is that you simply hit the like and subscribe button because it truly does help me out. All right, so let's first start off with Fidelity's retirement accounts. To get to Fidelity's retirement page, hover over planning and advice and click on retirement. And just the tip if you were ever stuck looking for a specific page on Fidelity, if you search the key topics on Google, it will more than likely pop up a link to that specific page. Now looking back, Fidelity has a wide range of retirement accounts that you can use to save and invest for your future. Now these accounts can be extremely attractive because they can provide tax benefits that if you use them properly can really help you out with your retirement. Some of the retirement accounts available on Fidelity's platform include traditional IRA, which is a tax advantaged account that allows investors to contribute pre-tax income up to a certain annual amount, and these contributions grow tax-free until retirement, at which at that point you are going to be taxed as income when it's withdrawn. Another account that is popular is the Roth IRA, and this allows you to contribute after-tax income up to a certain amount, and as long as you follow the certain conditions, when you go to retire, you will be able to withdraw everything tax-free. Now after that, there is a 401k, and this is an employer-sponsored retirement plan that allows employees to contribute a portion of their pre-tax income to this account. Employers can match a portion of the employee's contribution and these will grow tax-free until retirement, at which point they are taxed as income when withdrawn. Now, Fidelity's retirement accounts offer a variety of different investment options, including mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, which are ETFs, individual stocks, and bonds. The platform also offers a range of retirement tools and resources, including retirement calculators, income planning tools, and educational resources to help you plan for your retirement. Now let's talk about Fidelity's cards. And if you are on the Fidelity page and you hover over products and click on spending and saving, it will direct you to Fidelity cash management products. Now Fidelity offers a range of credit and debit cards that are designed to help you as an investor maximize your rewards and also savings. So now I wanna go over just a couple of the Fidelity cards. And the first one is the Fidelity Rewards Visa Signature Card, which is a credit card that offers cashback rewards on purchases. If you are a cardholder with this, you can earn 2% cash back on every purchase you make with the card, and there are no limits on the amount of cash back that can be earned. And there is no annual fee for this card. Another card is the Fidelity Debit Card, and this is a debit card that is linked to a Fidelity Cash Management account. And if you are a cardholder of this, you can use the card to make purchases or withdraw cash from a ATMs. And another card is the Fidelity HSA debit card, which is a debit card that is linked to a Fidelity health savings account. And if you are a cardholder of this, you can use the card to pay for qualified medical expenses. Although currently I do not have any of these Fidelity cards, as in overall, they do offer a range of rewards and benefits that can help you save money and maximize your investments. And the nice part about this is that because they're connected with Fidelity's platform, it makes it easy to track and manage your spending and the rewards for your investments. Investments. Now let's move on to discussing Fidelity's investor centers. So Fidelity has many investor centers throughout the United States, and this allows customers of Fidelity to come in and get some sort of support and ask any questions to someone that works there about their investments and maybe some guidance. This means that there are professionals that are there available to provide personalized guidance, support on investment strategies, asset allocation, and even portfolio management. They also can help you out with retirement planning, meaning that they can give you guidance on savings, social security benefits, and even retirement income strategies. Another service is account management. So if you are to go in there, you can have them help you open new accounts, make deposits, withdrawals, or even transfer certain assets. They can even help you with your taxes by trying to figure out what are the best approaches to minimize your tax liabilities and optimize your investment returns. As an overall, Fidelity Investor Centers are a valuable resource, especially for someone that wants to go in person and get support and guidance for their investments. Now let's move on to discussing Fidelity's mutual funds. In brief, mutual funds are a type of investment vehicle that pools money from multiple investors to purchase a diverse portfolio of stocks, bonds, or other securities. Fidelity has an advantage to me because they offer a broad range of mutual funds, and that includes index funds and actively managed funds. Index funds are designed to track the performance of a specific market index, such as the S&P 500, by investing in the same stocks or bonds as the index that they track. And Fidelity has many index funds that they have created and are known to be one of the lowest in the industry 
industry as far as their expense ratio, which is the cost it takes to own the fund. But for those interested, I have created an entire video in depth about Fidelity's index funds for beginners that I highly recommend you check it out. I will leave a link in the description below to that as well and a pop-up right here. Now, Fidelity's funds are available in a variety of investment styles, such as their asset classes, or if it's a domestic or international equity, or a fixed income, and that is just to name a few. And Fidelity provides a ton of tools and resources that can help you as an investor figure out which type of fund is one that fits your investment goals and risk tolerance. For example, Fidelity offers a mutual fund screener tool that allows investors to search for funds based on criteria such as performance, their expense ratio, or investment style. Let's just say an example, and that is you want an international fund that is a Fidelity fund with a four-star ranking or higher. If you then do this and click view, you will see the options from this specific screening. With that being said, let's now talk about Fidelity's screen tools. One way to reach us from the Fidelity page is hovering over news and research and then click on stocks. From here you can see in the top left screener tools and that will give you the option to start a stock, ETF, or other types of screens for your specific desire. Let's use the stock screener for this example, and that means that this tool would allow you to search for and filter stocks based on specific criteria, such as an industry sector, market capitalization on the specific stock, valuation ratios, and many more. Here's a quick tutorial on how to utilize this tool. The first thing you would wanna do is manage your search criteria. And let's just say, for example, you wanna screen for the market capitalization. Let's say that I want to search instead of mega cap stocks to large cap stocks. It will automatically change the results and show the name, ticker, security type, price, and much more information. If you change the tab on the top, let's just say to analyst opinions, you can now see different results that may be useful. And after trying this out, you can always go back and refine your search to a different criteria, which there's many options out there for you, depending on what you're truly looking for. And if you're someone that's really engaged in this tool, you can actually save any specific screen that you do. To do this, you are going to have to click on save screen at the top of the page and give your screen a name. This allows you to quickly access your saved screens in the future by clicking on the top right where it states my screens. So by utilizing this screener tool, you can quickly filter through thousands of stocks or other investments that can seriously narrow it down to just a few that actually fit your investment needs and goals. With that being said, let's now talk about how to buy and sell your investments on Fidelity. Now this section is assuming that the account is created, it's funded, and also I'm going to go over an example using a stock. If you would like me to make a video on how to start an account or any other Fidelity types of videos that I have not yet created, let me know in the comment section below and I will work on them. So the first thing is, is you need to have a specific investment that you want to use. And you can use the stock screener tool that I've recently discussed. Or if you know the company's name or the specific ticker symbol, you can search that on the top right of the page and it will allow you to click on a pop-up from the search that will take you directly to that specific investment. So now that you have the company you want, click on the buy button next, and then you will have the trade pop up where you need to fill in the required information. You will first have to select the account you want this to be purchased on, select the quantity and the order type, and then preview the order. And once you confirm the information is correct, you can then submit the order and the purchase should go through instantly, unless it is a mutual fund because those do not go through until the end of the next market close. All right, so the next step is you regret buying your stock and you want to sell it. This process is similar where you have to navigate to the stock you want to sell and enter the details for the amount, quantity, and order type. From there, you're going to preview the order, confirm the information, and hit the submit button to officially sell the investment. As an overall, buying and selling stocks on Fidelity is a pretty simple process, especially once you do it a couple times. I would just make sure that you look over the details before you submit the order because you never know when something could be wrong. All right, so now I want to discuss my personal opinion about Fidelity's investment platform. The first thing is I believe Fidelity's platform is constructed in an extremely professional way. And I say this because when I invest on the platform, I feel professional myself. I feel that I'm not trying to actively day trade and outbeat the market when I invest on Fidelity. Something like Fidelity compared to newer companies that give out free stocks, encourage active trading and trading options, I think have huge differences because statistically, if you try to outbeat the market and play with stocks, 
it will not go in your favor. And I believe that Fidelity's platform is laid out in a way that can actually help you make wiser decisions. And the second thing is that the tools that Fidelity provides for research and analysis, in my opinion, are at the highest level. I say this because you can pretty much find any information that you need about a certain stock or fund, for example. And the third thing is the Roth IRA and Fidelity is one that I've had since I was 18. I've always loved the layout of it. It's always made it seem professional and I've never had any issues with the account. If you were interested to learn more about Fidelity's Roth IRA, I have made an entire in-depth video about that. I'll leave a link in the description below and a pop-up here to that video. Now, the fourth thing is the customer service on Fidelity is at an extremely high level as well, in my opinion. I call them in and that always works out and I never have issues. You can also email and 24 seven live chat with them. Another plus is that if you are around one of their investor centers, you can easily go in and talk to somebody that works there, which I think is a huge plus compared to other competitors in the industry. And the fifth thing is I love how they have their own fidelity index funds that come at an extremely low cost and track indexes that have, for some of them, historically done extremely well. Although Vanguard is a top company when it comes to this as well, Vanguard has a 3K minimum for their mutual funds where Fidelity is zero. With that being said, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. And thank you all for watching this video.